following message is going to be the most perverse, life-saving public safety message that the world has ever seen. If you don't want a psychopath like me standing near your dead body or the dead body of your kin, the best thing you can do is make sure you don't get lost and you make sure you don't die. And I'm going to give you advice on how not to die. So, do you th if you think it is, if you think it is appalling, the idea that a missing person, innocent missing person, they're going to go missing, and you're going to have an asshole like me standing near their dead, but their dead body, and taking credit for it on a news channel. If you find that morally repugnant, then you should be motivated to not be the case where you have an asshole psychopath clinically diagnosed by a medical doctor in the field of psychiatry standing over your dead body or the dead body of your family by staying alive and not becoming a victim where you have a psychopath searching for you and finding you and then, and then, and then turning it around and taking credit for recovering you on the news. So, what I, so it, this sounds psychopathic, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to turn immorality into morality, and this, and this goes into a theory of utilitarian ethics where consequentialism, you don't have to be a moral person. If you have a moral effect on the world, you've done good, even if you're evil. So if you want, if you don't want a psychopath standing over your dead body, pay attention to the next video. I just want to tell the world what I have been doing. I've been browsing for leads of missing persons in the wilderness. So this is going to be the most perverse and disgusting public safety message. But in my opinion, there's a, there, you see there's people missing and they, they wound up dead in wilderness areas. And uh, in my opinion, they're wholly preventable. So. Here's the thing, there's some things people can do to make sure they're not the next casualty. First thing, if you need to make sure you have offline map system. Here's the thing, a lot of these trails, they're public trails, they're there, they could be trails within BLM land. They could be trails within National Park land. But it is extremely easy to lose your way on the trail. Extremely easy. In, across these wilderness areas, there's many trails. So it starts out as marked, right? It's easy to see there are public use trails. But oftentimes the trail basically vanishes. It picks up again at a certain point sometimes. It vanishes, picks up again, vanishes, picks up again. And sometimes, you know what happens? You know, sometimes people die because uh, this is this is kind of macabre, but people go off the trail, they, they need to uh, take a piss, they need to take a shit. Um, but, you know, they, they don't want the next church youth group walking up on them while they're taking a shit. So they go off trail. Okay, so they're being polite. Then then they go, they, then they try to find, they can't find the trail. And they panic. They can't find the trail. They try to find the trail. They, eventually they panic. They lose hope. They die. So the whole point is that what I want everyone to know, you need to make sure you have an offline map. Okay, get an off, down, have, Make sure you have an offline app on your phone, but that's not enough. Make sure you have, this is for the new generation. Everyone thinks when I say you need to have a GPS unit, they think, oh, is, is something an application I download on my phone? No, you need to make sure you have a physical GPS unit. And I talked about this before. You need to make sure you take a coordinate where you parked your motherfucking car. Okay. So, so listen, listen carefully to what I'm saying. Listen very carefully. One, make sure you have a separate physical GPS unit and the correct 
cable for that unit. Make sure you have a separate offline map, offline GPS map system that you can use for offline map navigation without a cellular signal on your phone, whether iPhone or Samsung, whatever phone. And make sure you have the correct cable for that device. Make sure, sometimes you make sure if, if you have an iPhone, some make sure sometimes you, this is what I do. I make sure I have two iPhone cables. What happens if one cable is bad? Um, statistically, this is engineering. Okay, I think you're much safer. Make sure you have a one. Make sure you have an extremely high capacity charger. That's good for virtually infinite amount of cycles. Okay, so listen carefully. One, make sure you have a very high capacity recharger that works for multiple devices. Two, make sure you have an offline navigation system on your model of phone, mobile phone. Make sure you have one or multiple verified working cables for that phone. Three, make sure you have a motherfucking GPS device and make sure the device is in good order. Make sure you have one or two working cables for that GPS device. This is engineering. Listen, listen very carefully. If your phone blows up due to heat like it did for me, you have a backup. It is less likely, it is not impossible. So, you know, one, if, if there's 10, 100 billion hikes, it'll probably happen, but it's unlikely. It is very unlikely when you have a high capacity charger for both the GPS unit and the mobile phone to fail at the exact same time, unless you're an idiot, you, basically your your bag, you basically you don't know how to carry a backpack, you don't know how to carry your gear, your backpack falls into, uh, basically falls down a cliff, down a lake, and, you, and now you lost your device, and you have no idea where you are, but statistically, when you have GPS, and when you have two units, your phone can die, okay, but you have a GPS unit and you have a backup cable for that GPS and you got a so you got a recharger. It is statistically unlikely that your ass is going to be uh, completely lost. Well, it's actually you, you could still be you could still fail, but it's unlikely engineering being an engineering asshole means that I know that it is statistically mathematically less likely that your GPS Garmin unit and your motherfucking iPhone is gonna die at the exact motherfucking same time. You get what I'm saying? So we talked about the technology part, but what next want to say is that you need to make sure you have enough water. So make sure you bring enough water. Make sure you have enough water and also insulation. So hypothermia, you know, you have the shell system, you have inner layer, middle layer, outer layer, uh, you know, basically, I don't need to be your nanny, but bas basically, make sure, make sure, do, if you're thinking about going on a nature hike, don't go on any hikes unless you got offline navigation, unless you got a GPS, and also you got a solar recharge. So, so let me let me state this in an asshole way. Make sure you have a battery recharger and a GPS and a mobile phone with a navigational offline GPS map system. So, and we're going to get to the next point. We're going to get to the next point where we might put that, we might put the asshole point on the front end.